In this practice example for percent yields, the question reads, a student completely reacts 5.00 grams of magnesium with an excess of oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. Analysis reveals 8.10 grams of magnesium oxide. What is the student's percentage yield? This value here represents the actual yield. The reason why this is the actual yield is because it tells you that analysis reveals an actual experiment was conducted and this is what the um, analysis reveals from the experiment. Now another little hint here um, that we're seeing is that one of the numbers deals with just magnesium, one of the numbers deals with magnesium oxide. If you sit and try to understand this problem a little bit more, you might realize that you actually have a, a reaction um, built into this problem. We have magnesium with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. So you might want to hit pause and write an equation for magnesium with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. Let me show you what we have so far in this percent yield problem. We have an act actual yield in the numerator. We do not quite have a theoretical yield that we, we are actually going to calculate that on the next slide. And we are being asked to calculate the percent yield. The little red note here tells you that you know you have to do a calculation because the values have different units slash substances. So uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of work on the next slide. Here is the balanced chemical equation for magnesium with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. I hope that you've remembered your diatomic molecules, that oxygen is O2, not just O, and that magnesium oxide um, has a formula of MgO, not because it's magnesium and oxygen, but because magnesium has a 2 plus charge, oxygen has a 2 minus charge, and those charges cancel each other out. For ionic compounds, you always have to do the charges first, and then you can write a proper formula. Now, to calculate the theoretical yield, if you're still looking at the original question, you might remember the 5.00 grams of magnesium was the given, and this comes from the question in the previous slide. The want is grams of magnesium. Actually, I'm going to go back so we can look at that problem. Here is the given 5.00 grams of magnesium. I know it's a given because this is a reactant. Percent yield means product. We're always doing calculations for the product. And <clears throat> our want in the next slide is grams of magnesium oxide because we're calculating the percent of magnesium oxide that was produced. So we have to match up the units and the substance in this actual over theoretical calculation. So there is um, that want, grams of magnesium oxide. We're trying to predict how much we're supposed to get in our experiment. We can go ahead and solve this problem exactly as we've been solving for several days now. We have magnesium versus magnesium oxide. Write your mole to mole ratio, two to two. So two moles magnesium to two moles magnesium oxide. And we're looking for more clues like units of mass. So grams are both present in the problem, we see grams of magnesium, we see grams of magnesium oxide. That tells you calculate two different molar masses. Here's one of them for magnesium. That number came straight off the periodic table. This is the mass for magnesium. Here's the molar mass for magnesium oxide. This number is a combination of magnesium, which I believe is 24.305 plus oxygen, so plus 15.999. Now we can start the problem because we have all the relationships we need. There's the given over one. We need grams of magnesium to cancel with grams of magnesium diagonally. And here's where we're getting that info. The rest of the ratio is the other side of the uh, ratio. And we now need moles of magnesium to cancel out diagonally. So I'm going to take this relationship now two moles of magnesium in the bottom to two moles of MgO on the top. Now I need moles of MgO to cancel out. So one mole of MgO in the bottom and 40.304 grams of MgO in the top.
Now when we type this into the calculator, here's what I'm going to type out. I'm just going to go from left to right, although you could just as easily do all the tops divided by all the bottoms. And so you can do 5 divided by 24.305 times 2 divided by 2 times 40.304 and our final unit should be grams of magnesium oxide because that's the only unit that doesn't cancel out in the end and here is our theoretical yield. Theoretical yield is a calculated value. This is typically what you want to get in the experiment. This is your goal. You should get 8.29 grams after completing this experiment between magnesium and oxygen but things don't always go right. And we might recall that this student actually got 8.10 grams of magnesium oxide in the experiment. So if something went a little wrong, maybe we're not the best scientists in the world, but when you do the calculation, 97.7% um, was recovered, which is actually really good. This is a really high percent yield, which means although we expected 8.29 grams and we got 8.10 grams, we still recovered a lot of the experiment. So pretty good scientist here.